Hi. Hi, Mr. Kesta. How have you been? Good, how are you? I'm good. I just remember that my fruits are finished now that I saw you. Well, <laughs> you know what to do. Just make your order and I'll deliver it to your doorstep. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Where are you going? Um, somewhere around, but my... Let me drop you now. No, don't worry. My ride is close by. Oh, you say? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you around. All right, take care. Right. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Bye. Uh, so pineapples, oranges, maybe tangerine will do. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'll send my address to you so you can just send the dispatch guy. I'll send the money as well. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah. Bye. Kesta, Kesta. My G. You see, for the first time in a very long time, I can see you are taking this your fertility situation very serious. Yeah, bro, I have to. <laughs> well, I can only imagine, you see, just focus on healing and you find happiness again, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even I, nobody can tell me better. I just need to focus because my happiness is important to me. Hmm, nothing makes sense anymore. But the thing is, um, well, yes, I really commend your resilience and um, your strength towards, you know, all this. Keep moving, man. And change your world. Okay? Thanks, man. Yeah. That's the kind of support I need. That's the kind of energy I need, man. You know, fatherhood is a great experience. I have to have that kind of experience as well. True. But you should know that it's very important. You're poor people. <laughs> I didn't know the tell person now. I know now. <laughs> but sometimes now I just look back and I feel like all those things that I did in uni. It's coming back to haunt me. How are you sounding this way? How are you sounding as if you've done something that is unforgiven? Well, you had to do what you needed to do, so... But I'm paying the price now. Hey, Kesta. Stop sounding like you committed the crime. You did what you needed to do. But it feels like the man up there is upset to me or something. Mmm, <laughs> my friend. Take that out of your mind and throw it into the bin. You don't need that energy. You don't. Maybe you're right. Okay. Yeah, I will turn. No problem. Tomorrow we'll sort it out. Thanks. Bye. Sarah, I'm so sorry for keeping you with me. I had to do that as I attend to that call. It's fine. Um, can I get you water, tea? Oh, no, no, no. I'm okay. Thank you. Are you sure? You brought this yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really thought you were going to send your dispatch, but you came yourself. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. My dispatch rider was not available, so oh. I had to come over myself. I hope you don't mind. Mind? <laughs> come. I'm actually happy you brought it yourself. Okay. <laughs> you sure you see the one to get you? What's out? No, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, look, it's getting late, so I have to go. Oh, yeah. okay. Let me drop you. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. I'll sort myself out. No, you said it's getting late. Let me drop you. Please. I insist. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let me just get my key. Okay. We're here. Yep. Home sweet home. I only just wish that the journey was a bit longer, so... <laughs> that would make you take us out of state or better still to the mainland. I don't mind. I would have done that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so silly. Um, thank you again for the ride. Um, good night. You haven't answered my question, though. Uh, what question? Are you going to pretend like you don't remember? <laughs> Listen, I'm not such a good cook. Huh? Are you sure you're saying the truth or...? <laughs> I mean, you can consider this as a side hustle. 
Well, look, cooking is not one of my strongest attributes. And cooking twice a week for you, that's a lot. I will pay. It will be worth your while. Look, it's not about the money for me. Okay, so why don't we look at it this way? You're cooking for your very loyal customer. <laughs> okay, do you want me to go and be eating out? Then I'll have diarrhea, typhoid, <laughs> all those things that people okay, have. Then you come okay. and be looking at me in the hospital. <laughs> I'll call you and say, I'm sick. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But listen, I'm not a great cook as you might think, though. Shall we find out when you cook? Okay, so when do I start? This weekend. That fast? I thought you were going to start yesterday, but then I'm like, okay, this weekend is fine. <laughs> okay. Um, You know what? Why don't you tell me what you want and then we will go from there. Okay, I'll send you a list. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you again for the right. Anytime. All right, good night. Good night. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Hey, what? Yo, who's going to cook that? It was a joke. Like, every meal gets better. Than the previous one. And she did cook die. <laughs> My G, I totally agree. You see? Like every meal she makes is just like a masterpiece. Like she's the best. So it's not only that, she's a great cook. But the girl, all round, correct. Correct girl. Mm. <laughs> My G, are you noticed something of late? What's that? Whenever we're having any conversation or we'll go for any set out, we'll always bring up serious issues. Tell me, what is happening? I don't cast that in. You can say that again. Well, I don't lie, I'm bad on the girl. The girl's actually, she's been on my mind, man. She's always on my mind. Yes, sir. I guess you have more than a passing crush on her. Yeah. Tell me. Do you have strong feelings or what? Don't lie. <clears throat> Don't catch me now. <laughs> but yeah, I actually do like the girl. Mm. I really like her. Okay. I see. If you ask me, I guess it's you shoot your shots. Because life is too short to hold back on love and happiness. So, mm. shoot on my guy. Sometimes you get sense. Opportunity comes but once. <laughs> no, 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 you won't have me now. No, 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 you won't have me now. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, cha. Hit your head, no be... You're right. I can know you have you. You be my guy now. Don't pass like that. Thanks, but, man. Don't go insult me. Don't go insult me. Don't go insult me. Don't go insult me. Now you barely said anything from the whole journey. What? You didn't say anything. Look. I wish there was something to say, but there isn't. Don't say that. There's a lot to say. Sarah, I like you. I like you a lot. And I like you too, Kesta. Look, you've been an incredible person this past few months. And I've really enjoyed spending time with you. But what you're asking of me, I don't think I am up for it. I'm scared of being in a relationship again. Sarah, listen. I know a lot about past experiences, okay? So I know you probably are thinking you've been hurt before. You don't want to have anything again. My intentions, they're very genuine. I'm not trying to hurt you. Look, I don't doubt your intentions, Kesta. It's just that I've been hurt before and I don't want to get hurt again. 
Listen, I've had my fair share of breakfast served to me. But I don't focus on the past. It has happened, it has happened, I move on. You should move on as well. Okay? Let your past stay in the past. It shouldn't affect your future. It shouldn't even affect your present. But Kesta, there are some things about my past that I think you should know. But I don't think you'll be able to handle it. And I'm scared of how you're going to react about it. Your past is your past. Don't worry about it. We all have our past. Let's focus on the future. Whatever challenges we're going to face in the future, we'll face it together. Yes, I want to believe you, okay? And I want to be brave enough to take this leap of faith with you. That's all I need to hear. We would face it together. Going to be standing there all day staring at me. I could. I mean, I haven't seen all of this. But you saw it all last night. No. If I did, why do you think I'm here? Hmm? Well, you tell me. Rather than tell you, oh, why don't I show you? But I'm making us breakfast. Breakfast can wait. <laughs> oh my god, what a time. Oh. Who could that be? Hang on, just, just stay here. <laughs> Don't move. Okay. My son, when will you as a start up a family? What do you mean start up a family? Give me a child. <laughs> We've already started a family, okay? But this is bonding stage. We just started now. Let us lay a good foundation first now. Good foundation? Do you think you are still getting younger? 
I am not getting younger, neither you are getting younger. I understand. This no. body, 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 you have been saying it until your first wife left you without a child. Eh? Why will you give me my own grandchild? Mommy, I understand. Okay. But <clears throat> children have a different responsibility on their own. No? We are still we're still trying to, you know, get to know each other and everything. But no problem. We, we would we will get there. Do you think you are still a child? Mommy, you are sound as if you are old. You, if you enter town, people will be chasing you. <laughs> this is not time for jokes. All my friends have done omuga for their children. Why don't you want to give me a child? Mommy, I've heard now. Give me grandchildren. I want to do omugo as well. No problem. We'll give you grandchildren. Do it as fast as you can. Mommy, we are not God now. We will do it. We'll do our best. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> just come and be spoiling someone's mood. I was here enjoying TV. Just come and be saying this thing. So, my friend, this is Naomi's <sighs> dedication. Assure me. No, my goodness, my goodness, this is nice. Kai Eguma, <sighs> so beautiful. <laughs> but then again, it's Naomi we're talking about now. Oh, you know, fashionista. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't expect less from her <laughs> at all. At all. This is really nice. Uh, uh, so is this one mine? Baba, I give my material to I with this one. No, please, color me, color you. Please, no, give this one to me now. Please, you can get another one from her. In fact, you're seeing her very soon. Just give me this one now. No, no, look, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, person. give it to me. Oh, oh mommy. Oh, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Mm. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how much is this one? I think she said that's five yards. It's about 95,000 or so. Okay, not bad. Mm. It's actually worth it. This is really nice and the color is doing mad justice to I it. I tell you, say now, Michai, I go market. This is good. Mm. So whose account should I transfer the money into? Yours or Naomi's account? You know, life so now go see me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly, you this girl. Please have a good I'll send it to my account, Jerry. Okay, I will do that. My rich friend. Was. Do, don't even, don't even try me. My don't rich even. Friend. What are friends yeah, for, too. even not for inconveniences, madam? Hmm? Mm. Mm -hmm. You'll be alright, Zabek. <laughs> You'll be alright, please. <laughs> ah, I even need to check to see if I have the shoe and bag to match this. Talking of shoe and bag, see this one that I saw online. What do you think? <gasps> this shoe, now. This is clothes for this shoe. As in, oh I will give God. them. You see this education? This is not me bomb picking. <laughs> this is nice. Like, are you joking? See, <laughs> see, mad phone at this. Oh, ah, girl, God. I plaster. Uh, uh, look at you, <laughs> Wait, look, I'm going to order from this side too. Come on, look at this. This will look so good on you. Yes. Your color. Mom. Are you on your way out already? Yeah, I'm going for a stroll with my friends. Oh, is your wife upstairs? I think she saw her friend off. Why? I overheard them that they are going to their friend's child education. I even overheard again that she has three kids and five years of marriage. Hey. Mommy, <sighs> I have been married for eight months. And you were married for three good years with your ex and nothing to show for it. You threw elaborated wedding more than our Igwe coronation. The same thing with Sarah. And when it comes to the fruit of marriage, you have nothing to show for it. Are you not ashamed? <laughs> ashamed? Why would I be ashamed? Oh, now you are dressed up. You are taking a walk. And those friends of yours, I'm sure they have kids at home. Instead of you and your wife to lock yourself inside the room and do the thing and give me results, you're strolling up and down. You know uh, that shame? Uh, first of all, mom, TMI. Second of all, we actually do this thing that you're talking about a lot. <laughs> it is not enough. Do more so that I can see results. I want to carry my grandchild in this okay. house. Mom. I gotta go. Thank you. You can go. Ah! 
Hey, Sarah, you and I need to talk. Is there a problem? Of course you know there is a big problem at heart. It's been over two years you have gotten married to my son and you are unable to get pregnant. Sarah, I want to carry my own grandchild. You are a woman. I want you to take laws into your hands. Do you know the importance of a woman in the house when you marry earlier and you have your children? Because if you don't do that, your husband will look elsewhere. Ma, Kesa won't do that to me. Oh, Kesa won't do that to you. I don't know about that, but I have seen it happen. The more you fold your arms, the more it gets complicated in this house. Go out, Sarah. Find solution to yourself. You are a woman. Take the loss into your hands and give me a grandchild. <sighs> Oh, so good. Hey. Uh -uh. Son, huh? look, we just had a sick round of sex and I need more, baby. What do you mean you need more, baby? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. <sighs> what we need now is rest. I'm tired. No okay. breaks, babe. Listen, we've been trying for months now, okay? And I'm scared that if we don't keep at it, I might not get pregnant and I need to get pregnant. You will get pregnant, okay? But then, we've been at it for an hour. I'm tired. Babe, listen, look. Just rest, take a break. No, look, this is my ovulation period, okay? And if there is any time I think I have the strongest chance of getting pregnant, it is now. Babe, please, no, let's just, let's just try again. It's okay, look, let's just rest for now. Please, please, just, I'm tired now, look, I'm tired. Babe, no, like, look, I am tired too, okay? But I need to, to try my hardest to, to get pregnant. Your mother is breathing down my neck because of it. Listen, you're doing too much. Calm down. It's okay, you can't force this. I mean, that's the reason why we had sex, because you're ovulating so you can get pregnant. Kesta, Kesta, please, please, I really need to get pregnant, okay? I don't want you to give up on me, please. I am not giving up on you, okay? I'm not giving up on you. The experts have said that we're both okay. So we're good. Look, it's not about what the experts say, it's about me getting pregnant. That's all that matters, mm. Kesta. And you will get pregnant. You might even have twins. Just relax, okay? It's fine. Let's sleep. When we wake up, we'll continue. Krista? Huh? I tell me, what has been bothering you of late? Because you look very far, very distant. See, your presentation today at the office captured like I, I could not comprehend. What happened? What is wrong? Okay, Sarah. Hey, why do you know that this girl constantly asks for sex? Like she's become insatiable every time. But Kester. It's not what you always wanted. If you want to... That's not what that's not what I want. Yes, I ask for crazy sex positions because Gaini says it will help with pregnancy. But me, I'm a very simple guy. I don't I'm not into all that stuff now. You understand? Every time, every time. But Kester, you cannot blame her because it's really telling on her. And then Mom see that one, she keeps asking for grandchildren, like we're just gonna manufacture it. Oh God, I know family issues can be overwhelming. Well, you can also keep telling her that all will be well. Yeah, it's, it's actually not fair, Sarah. Because she doesn't even know the truth. It's actually not fair, huh? I understand. Hmm? She has been trying, she has sacrificed a lot for you. So you need to do the same for her. 
Yeah, I know. I just hope all will be well. Because Mom, see, eh? She's relentless. Tell him I know they're tired. Just, uh, see, I know you. You're equal to the tax, okay? Just, cheer up. My G. Thanks. Hey, girl. I've been going through a lot again. All Tessa and I do is just have sex multiple times throughout the day, just in an effort for me to get pregnant. That cannot be healthy now. What kind of... Ah. I know, but it's just not about me. My mother-in-law is breathing down my throat about having grandchildren. I'm really tired. And she says that if I don't get pregnant anytime soon, she's afraid that my marriage to her son will fall apart. What? Wait, wait, wait. Your mother-in-law understands that you are not in control of this. You can get yourself pregnant now. Idea. She does not care about any of that. All she cares about is having her grandchildren. That's it. Speaking of which, what is Kester saying in all of this? Kester is the most supportive husband any woman can yeah. ask for. He's not bothered about his mother's complaints and all of that. He's just so supportive. But then again, I'm not Kester. My girl. Your husband is not worried. What are you worrying for? I don't understand. I'm really, really worried about this. See, babe, I understand being worried. But you do realize that anxiety is not going to put a baby in there. If anything, it's to help you not get pregnant. Also, I have a question to ask you, and I need you to be sincere with me. Okay. Does Kesta know anything about your past? My dear. I was going to tell him everything about my past, but then he told me that he's not interested in knowing anything about all of that. Ooh. Girl, you are lucky. What are you thinking? Anyways, I have another question to ask you. And Sarah, please, the truth. Tega, what is it you're scaring me? Can you really, really get pregnant? What? I understand how that might seem, but... You know, seeing as the things you have done in the past, Sarah, the multiple abortions, don't you think it's a contributing factor to what is happening now? I mean, you and I know it's not far-fetched. Um, Krista, hmm? I guess you should tell your mom about the truth. Eh? <laughs> lie, lie. I should tell my mom I have those spam counts. Lie, lie. What are you saying? Yes, she needs to know so that she can slow down. Is that not the same thing that ruined my marriage with Chisom? Three years marriage. Eh? Guy, Chisom is your ex-wife. We're talking about your mom. Okay, so my mom. When I tell her now, what difference will it make? At least it will ease the tension between your mom and Sarah. Because she's suspecting that Sarah is the problem. Yeah, I know. No. I see what you're saying, but no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, Kesta, you, you, know, you, know you will not know except you try. It's better you try. Better for you. I said my own. <clears throat> I'll sleep over it. You better sleep over it.
I'm so sorry you had to go through all this. And to think that you never mentioned any of it to me. My dear, to what end will I keep sharing bad news? It's exhausting. Ah, Emeka. Emeka, the thunder that will fire you wherever you are. Let fire begin to burn you right now. Because that boy was a devil sent to destroy your life. And I allowed it. It's not like he had a gun to my head and led me to those men. But you loved him. And that makes me more foolish. I mean, one man who claims he loves his woman will allow her to sleep with different men almost every night. No, things we do for love, eh? You see, that's why I'm setting boundaries with this Alex boy. I'm letting him know if you try me, Lasson. If you try it, Lasson. Hey, Jay. Ah. I wish I had half of your courage. Now see what my timidness has led me to. I might never have children. Baba, stop capping, Jerry. You will have your own kids. Stop being such a pessimist. My dear, I'm just embarrassing my reality for your you. Your reality, my friend, is to have your own kids, carry your own kids, and I will come and be an auntie to your kids. Ha! I wish it was that easy, Tega. My love, do you believe in miracles? My dear, God is not a magician, okay? Actions have consequences, and I'm leaving them right now. Sarah, actions have consequences, but all hopes are not lost. I mean, if they were, you wouldn't be married to Kesta. I wish I did not. But you did. Girl, can we stop with all this horrid stories about your past and just focus on your future as mommy twins and me as an auntie? <laughs> <laughs> Take her. Thank you so much. Oh, my friend. For being an amazing friend. I don't know what I would have done without you. You know, I'm always here for you, my darling. Come here. Thank you. Mm. Ah, Mama, where are you going? I'm going to find something to eat. Ah, what do you mean you're going to find something to eat? Sarah made food now. And so? I don't eat food that was cooked by your fellow man. Ah, I said Sarah cooked the food. It was Sarah that cooked it, not me. Yes, I know. I heard you perfectly. Any woman that cannot conceive and give birth to a child is a man. So, I cannot eat the food. Mommy, now, why will you talk like this? Why? If you was your daughter, will you say the same thing? Just shut up. Just keep quiet. As far as I'm concerned in this house, I cannot eat the food that your wife cook until you give me my grandchild. I want to carry my own grandchildren. In this house, I want to carry my grandchildren. Dr. Hana. This is our major improvement. This is good. Okay, doctor, please, can you just break it down to me? What does improvement mean? In plain words, your sperm board has improved tremendously. It's now at 45%. It shows you have been taking your diet seriously. So getting your wife pregnant should not be a problem. Doctor, so what you are trying to tell me now is that I can be a father soon. In no time, we would be expecting your wife to come for antenator. Doctor, I'm so happy to hear this. This is this is this is good. This is this is good. You're welcome, Kesta. Just make sure you continue with the nutrition. Don't go back on it. What? <laughs> I can never go back. I am not going to go back. Doctor, do you know where I'm coming from? I'm not gonna go back. That's good to know. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Hey, how are you? 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know. Well, you know, I don't usually go out with my car, so there's no need for me to bring it for washing. Oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> but today that you're here, we will have to charge you extra for not coming for a long time. <laughs> don't worry, just give it a good wash, okay? And I'm going to pay extra like I usually do. That won't be a problem. Just give me a minute. Okay. Now, Emeka! Emeka! Please come here. Okay, sir. Emeka! Ah. What's wrong with you? Ah, sir. Sir, I want to get water. Now. What's wrong with you? I want to get water. This is one of our loyal customers. Please, I need to wash the car very well, okay? I'm coming. Don't accuse me. <laughs> I did this in a rush while you were waiting in the car. But I just wanted the night to end on a good note. Don't judge me. I did this in a rush. It's fine. Happy anniversary. Thank you. It's been two amazing years with you. Two of my best years. Kesta. Yes, baby. What we share is beautiful. What is hard to celebrate when we've been yearning for a child? Shh, don't say that. Not today. Okay. Look, our love is bigger than anything. And that's what we should focus on today. But I can't just pretend that everything is fine tonight. I'm sorry, Kesta. Don't, don't ever apologize. I understand. Okay? And we're going to be fine. Let's just focus on what we have, what we share. I know we have dreams of having a baby, of having children. But don't let that overshadow our love today. You're right. And I'm sorry for letting my emotions overshadow all of this. It's okay. We're going to make the most out of tonight. Yes. You're my everything. And you have my heart, Kesta. I never could imagine life without you. I love you. Shall we drink? <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers to us, to love, to our future, to having beautiful children together, to an unending love that nothing will come in between us. Did you enjoy dinner? Mm -hmm, I did. Can I get you out of this clothes?
Kinsta. Yes, Mary. I want you to know that you have my heart. And I never could imagine life without you. You're my everything. I love you, baby. I love you too. Oh, uh, Sarah, um, thanks for agreeing to see me. I appreciate it. Look, just go straight to the point. I am tired of all your persistent calls. It's annoying. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I... Okay, I, I, I'm in a very terrible spot now, financially, Sarah. And that's why I was asking to see if you can help me with anything. Anything at all. It's so terrible to feed this. It's an uphill task. I've been eaten since. I mean, are you being serious? You have no right to ask me for anything. After everything you have done. Sarah, I, I, I know I messed up big time. I, I'm sorry for everything I did to you. Please, I, I'm very sorry. It's been terrible. Please forgive me. You, you don't want to reward evil with evil. Please, you are a Christian. Please, let God speak to your heart, please. You may come. You ran away with my hard-earned money, leaving me with nothing. You went off with another woman. Wait, he should be behind bars, you know that, right? Sir, like I said, I take full responsibility for everything I did to you. I'm begging you, in the name of Almighty God, please. You don't want to reward evil for evil. Let God deal with the things I did to you. Remember an eye for an eye, the whole world will go blind. The scripture says so. Please, please. No, I, I'm going under. You're going under. That is where you belong, Emeka. I'm not doing a single thing for you. Now get the hell out of my car. Listen, Sarah, listen to me. If you're not going to help me, then you will see. Your husband will learn about all the wayward life, all the non, all the filthy life of, of your past, everything you did in the past. I'm going to tell him. Why are you so heartless? I'm in need. I'm suffering. Help me. And now the mask is finally off. Welcome back, Emeka. Oh, you know what? You can go ahead and tell my husband everything and see if it changes anything. Go ahead. But you're not getting a dime from me. Uh huh. You're telling me. Okay. Wicked thing. It's the audacity of this idiot for me. Mm -hmm. Look, it's been a while since we've been intimate, okay? I miss those moments. Can we try tonight? No, no, no. Please, not tonight. I'm tired. Let's just sleep tonight. Look, honey. Listen, it's my ovulation period, okay? And we need to try, especially at this time. Look, your mom has been away for a while now, and I don't want to imagine what is going to happen if she comes back and finds that I'm still not pregnant. You need to stop. Imagine, stop thinking about stuff. Just rest. I'm tired. Not tonight, please. Not tonight. Tonight is not a good night for that. Hmm? Please. Please. Okay, sir. Is there a problem I need to know of? Is there something you want to tell me? No. So then let's sleep. Let's go to bed. Wait, babe, what's going on? I'm tired. I'm, 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 I'm really tired. I just feel very disconnected. I'm frustrated. Yes, I, I didn't realize things had gotten this bad between us. Listen, we can walk on it, okay? Whatever this is.
podcast. Take you don't fuck up. Take you don't fuck up again. Ah. <laughs> I could take a belay. Who even get the belay? You don't even. Okay, they take a poor foray. You don't finally embarrass your family again. Ah. Mr. Mr. Wife, tell Alex. I want to tell him. See. Ah, ah! That guy even this great. You don't get it. You want time for this life? That guy even this great. In the house, I shit. Hey, are you alright? Yeah. Why are you crying? I'm in a mochi. Sweetheart. So, baby, baby, what are you doing? Okay, you want me to get you something, right? What is it? Tell me, tell me, what is it? Take your to talk here, now, dear, baby. Baby, you remember that day I said that I was going to party? Oh, oh, oh! The girls, girls get together, right? Yeah, I remember. Even my girls get together, baby. The right guys at the party, and and I, I was drunk, oh, I was drunk, oh, and there was this boy. It was just small. You see, it never went inside completely. Oh, it's just small like this, small. And maybe, maybe I'm pregnant. Maybe I'm pregnant. <laughs> Tigger, you slap with a man? I don't know I'm sorry. Yes, I'm saying, 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 yes,
he threatened to expose my past to Kesta. And I think he's making good his threats. Wait, has Kesta mentioned anything about it to you? He hasn't. He's just been keeping everything to himself. And I don't have the mental strength to bring it up. Emeka. Emeka, you have beaten more than you can chew. And I'll make sure to it that you do not see the next letter. Of this. Because what is this madness now? Hey. Fashion just the make problem just they find them up and down. What is this? Um, babe, uh, breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry, I'm not eating. Uh, you could just wait a few minutes to eat, please. Yeah, I said I'm not hungry. I'm late. I need to go. Oh, I could just pack it up for you in a lunchbox and you can have it. Do you listen to what I tell you? I'm not eating. Madam, is anything wrong? Where is that stupid, useless, depressed idiot? That Emeka who works for you. Where is he? Emeka. Look at you. So, you think you can make good of your threats, right? Huh? You think you can make good of your threats? You don't care about anything. As long as you get whatever you want, you don't care what it will cost for those around you. But let me tell you something. This is your last time you would behave like this. Let me tell you. Sir, what are you talking about? Uh, um, Madam, what are you going on about? Madam, please. Do you know each other or? Friday, just stay out of this. It is between me and this useless criminal. Sarah. Sarah, can we talk about it privately, please? Privately? <laughs> it's funny how you think you have an opinion. Just wait until the police get here. We'll see how much of an opinion you've got. Sarah, is that what I'm Is there a way we can settle this amicably? No, we cannot settle anything amicably. We cannot. You, Emeka, you stole my money. I relocated abroad. Where you were jailed and relocated back here. You've come back to finish what you started, Abby. You think that you've come back to finish what you started? Sarah. Sarah, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, if it's about the threat I made in your car the last time I asked for financial assistance, they were just empty threats. I mean, why would I hurt you a second time? I'm still battling with the guilt for the previous one. I am not the monster you thought I am. Or you think you may think I am. And besides, I am born again. The scripture says, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Behold, all things are new. I am a new and make Shut up. Shut up. Trying to cover your tracks, I see. I will deal with you in this city. Let me tell you. Useless thing. Why would I deny it? Why would I deny it? If I said it, I will just own up to you. I am a child of God. The scripture says the, the righteous is as bold as a lion. Why, why would I deny it to her? Are you a criminal? So, I, 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 ask her, I, don't, I don't know what she's talking she's about. She's a criminal. She's angry. She, I don't know what... She's angry. Emeka, so you're a criminal. Sir. I am the redeemed of the Lord. Christ has redeemed me of all my sins. I am not, I am not a criminal. Emeka, she just said it now. So I employed a criminal here. Yeah. Emeka, you've been hiding your identity here. So you're a criminal, Emeka. Hey! I want to blame you for all of this. But I have a feeling that you might be telling the truth. But I am, Sarah. I, I'm sorry for whatever is going on between you and your husband. Nick, I don't act like you care. None of this would have happened if not for your evil ways. Yes, but I'm paying for my evil. I am paying for my evil. And I really do wish now that I have met Christ that I had done things differently. Honestly, I mean, why would I even consider going to your husband to tell him about your past? Why would I do that? I mean, for you to even imagine that I would do a thing like that tells me just how much of a vile soul you think I am. Well, you will not blame me for feeling how I feel about you, Emeka. You caused it. I know. 
I accept full responsibility and I'm saying I am sorry. And I really do wish I had done things differently. I wish there's a way I could make it up to you. Oh, please, you can't do anything for me. I don't need you to do anything for me. Well then, my fervent prayer is that the good Lord in his infinite mercy will restore your home, whatever you're going through with your husband. God bless you, Sarah. Oh, I'm sorry. I traveled out of the country for a meeting. Huh? For a business. Business, I mean to say. Alex, you have a woman expecting a child here and you promised to take care of us. Sorry, uh, it's urgent. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Hmm. Business, right? Okay. Okay. I love you. I'll see you soon. I'll be back soon. Sure. Talking like this, I'm still married, remember? Hey, you calm down now. But I need to see you, it's important. What is it? You will see me. Just take it easy. I just need to see you. Okay, when you answer me, I will, I will, I will let you know when, you, when we can see. I can't wait any longer. Be taking it easy, calm down. Yeah. Okay, hey, hey, why? No, Allah. Hey, we'll talk now. All right, yeah, bye. Everything okay? Yeah. All right. Just talking to hey, why? Okay, I'm stepping up briefly. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. babe? All right. Take care. I'm coming. All right. All right. Come in. Come in, the door is open, come in. Hi. Check out. What's up? Okay, what are you... Sarah is not home. Mm. What are you doing here? I need to come to see Sarah, I came to see you. What's going on? Well, I can't bear in good news. I'm six weeks pregnant. You what? Pregnant. I didn't have water in my mouth when I said it. We, we did it just once. Kester, who told you it takes eternity to have sex with a woman and get her pregnant? By the way, I'm not barring like your wife. Stop that. So what are we going to do? I should ask you, what are we going to do? Do I look like the man in this relationship? Hey, darling. Hey. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Hey. Um. Hi, my. Hey, Tess. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I was looking for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Babe, listen, listen. I have good news for you. Uh huh. She, she, she's, um, she's pregnant. What? What a coincidence! I'm pregnant too, babe. I'm six weeks gone. I'm pregnant too. Oh my god, babe. Oh my god. We've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> Babe. Huh? What's going on? Why are you not happy about this? Um. Tell her. Babe. I told you she's 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 pregnant. 
Yeah, you did. It's <laughs> mine. This is a joke, right? It has to be a prank, right? <laughs> what is a prank? Is you walking in here and telling us, I'm six is pregnant! When the burying people start getting pregnant. I beg, Kesta, how far? How far now? Ah. Hey. Anyways. <laughs> it's me, I'm hungry. Are you push around, Sunny. I take full responsibility for my actions. I'm not going to blame anyone for what I did in the past. Am I proud of what I did? No. But Kest, I can't change the past. Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? I wanted to, but you told me that you didn't want to hear it. Yes, I didn't want to hear it, but then damaged womb? My womb is weak, not damaged. Tega lied to you about that and you chose to believe her. And you emotionally abused me in the process. Okay, so you, why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you talk to me? I was angry, okay? And I, that, that's why I stepped towards your friend. I thought she was my friend, but now I know better. She is worse than a serpent. But sir, that's way too sensitive information for you to hide from me. I wouldn't do that to you. Really? Yes, really. It's both of our concern. So I guess you're not telling me about your low sperm count, which made it almost impossible for you to get a woman pregnant. Isn't both of our concern right? How did you know? She left clues everywhere. From your, your diet and, and your lab reports and all that. He didn't say anything. Because unlike you, I chose to look for a solution for you. And not fight you for keeping it away from me. I did some research about that. And I made some changes to your diet which helped to boost your sperm cells. You didn't say anything. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Fuck, you don't have to apologize. I guess we all have our secrets we choose to keep to ourselves. Why pray for a solution? I'm sorry for what I put you through. Now I wish I knew better. Shame on you! Shame on you, Kesta! You have brought shame into my family! Oh, I told you. I was in a bad place when this thing happened. Will you shut up your mouth? What dirty bad place are you in? Bro, oh, when you're spreading my legs, it was, not, it, was, it was a good place for you. Why are you saying nonsense? What's wrong with this one? I'm saying nonsense. Will you keep quiet? In front of Just my keep quiet, two of you. I am here and you are still nagging and fighting, complaining. Kessa, all I want for you is to take responsibility of Tiger's pregnancies. Because you are the father. Let me show. Wait, 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 wait. What else do you want? What, 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 what does I want? You want to move into this house? Mm. But you you marry me, Kester. It's a man. lie. That's a lie. You shameless, backstabbing friend. Look at you. That's why nobody wants to be your friend. You sleeze thing. <laughs> this one. So wait, wait, wait. Of everybody in this room, it is you, the shameless whore, that's calling me. Me, Ogenetega, shameless. Is that what you have to say? Is that what you have to say? Mm -hmm. Husband snatcher, serpent. Yeah, husband snatcher. 
You're oh. trying to snatch me. You want to snatch me? Will someone snatch me now? Stay. Serpents. Husband snatcher. Serpents. I am here to you. stay. I have come Look to stay. Look at you. Nobody will move me away from here. Market. Okay, stay there now. Stay there. Do you, want, do you want something else? Market woman. Get out. See, if I, if I don't, if I, see, don't, 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 let me make you know. What are these? Are you mad? What is all this? Are you all right? Are you guys, do, there's no shame at all. No shame at all. My it's just baby. a disgrace. Hey, what's all this? Guess that my baby. Come here, Tim, come. If, 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 what do you want to do? If you touch me, tell me. If you touch me, if you touch me, I am mad. Why would you even think you can be here? This is my matrimonial home. Are you aware? I beg you, relax. I came to stay close to the father of my unborn child. You're smoking. How about sure this child is mine? <laughs> it's not funny, you're laughing. Our tables are finally turned. So now you can stand in front of me because Sarah is pregnant. Oh yeah, good news, she's pregnant. So I'm gonna focus on her. Ah. I can see you're all set moving. I thought you were supposed to wait for him to perform some marriage rites before you start showing your desperation. Well, this is me letting you guys know that I am not here to play games with you. And like I said, I can spend time with the father of my unborn child. <laughs> baby, come close to me. Can you just you go? Stupid. Can you leave? Don't hurt me and our baby, oh. My baby needs you. <laughs> Tega! Tega! What is this nonsense? Tega! My baby needs you. Are you mad? <laughs> oh my god, why? Babe, babe, come on now. Come on, join me in bed. Testa! Let me see what she has. No, 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 ignore her. Come on, stay. Testa! I know how she is. She won't stop. Leave her. Come on, the bed. Don't even know what What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Yeah, I came to spend the night. Stop. Oh. What's this nonsense now? I gave you a room. This is my matrimonial bed. Okay, so why are you doing this now? I'm also carrying your child now. This is my home. Tega, please. Can you excuse us? I'm not excusing you, people. Tega, please, can you leave? I'm not can going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. What is this nonsense now? Can you stop? You know what, Kesta? I cannot stand this man. I have to. What is this? You would think you will leave me. You would think you will leave me and go to anywhere. I'm going to the every room together. Let's go. What is this just going around town that we broke up and I was arrested for drug trafficking in Germany? Your voice. So, so you mean it's not true? Hell no, it's not. Shh. It was. Shh. What? Hey, come on, stop that! Will I be here talking to you? If it's true, will I be here talking to you? God. So, but, but, but the information I got was that you and some three other guys were arrested at the airport. So, what, what, I don't understand. How are you here? Oh, come on. I was suspected for, for drug trafficking, but hey. it was never true. The moment they realized that I was innocent, I was set free. My God, they got, what oh. have I done? Ah. Yeah, exactly. That's... <clears throat> what have you done? <laughs> You came into this home, you started lying to us, making me feel like I was responsible for your pregnancy. Meanwhile, this is the father of your child. I'm not responsible for our pregnancy. Ah, oh. If you are not, ah. then who is? Ah. She had a one night stand with a random guy at the party while she was drunk. Later, she told me about it and I accepted to take off her and the baby. She even tried to abort it, but it didn't work out. So, thinking that you were not going to return anytime soon, she decided to pin it on Kesta. You're such a terrible woman. I'm so sorry. Go upstairs, get your things, and get out of my house. Ah, uh, cast that me. Alex, please help me back. Are, are, are you okay? Are you alright? <laughs> Tell him you're sorry? I'm Why are you too much a big boo? I'm ashamed of you. Oh, Tell him you are a terrible human being. I don't even know who to trust. <laughs> the devil is better than you. <laughs> Desperate woman. I'm sorry. Get out of my life. Alex, our oh, baby. <laughs> 
Don't waste any tears there. Get up, go get your things and get out of my house. Get up and get out of my house! I'm sorry. What the fuck, baby? My friend, my friend. Get your things and get out of my house. Leave! 